Alright, welcome everyone. My name is K. Michael Russell. I am a comic book colorist and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in the video today, we are going to be looking at this uh, poster from Planet of the Apes. Let me let you guys see the whole thing here. Uh, this is by Eric Powell of um, the Goon fame, if you're familiar with him. And I don't know when this got posted, but I, I just saw it yesterday and uh, it, it kind of directly relates to the video I posted yesterday in a lot of ways. And I realized there's probably three or four color theory lessons in this, uh, what appears to be a very simply colored piece, but there's a lot more going on than probably a lot of people realize. So I thought it'd be a good example to use to show you guys a, a couple of, of concept, concepts concepts here. Uh, first off, related to what we uh, posted in the video yesterday about atmospheric perspective, uh, or air perspective, you might hear it called. This is a, a great example of that. So basically the principle is simply that the further things are away from the viewer, uh, away from the camera in the piece, uh, they tend to get less saturated and they tend to be less contrasty uh, than what's in the front. So you can see here, I'll blow this up a bit. You can see here, obviously you've got the, the darkest darks right in the front the space between us and it or as you know is as small as it gets in this painting you've got a uh, lighter still between us and the trees and then even lighter than that if you go back to the darkest parts of the uh the mountains back here so there's a lot of space between us and the mountains you know less space between us and the trees and then you know even less space between us and the apes riding horses with guns which is just cool so um and you can even see this a little bit within the apes themselves because you know obviously he's very dark and if you look back here he's a little less uh a little less uh, bright than uh, obviously the guy right here in front so even within the group there's less contrast on these guys back here uh, than there is in the guy up front so that's uh atmospheric perspective in this piece. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about, I talk about this a lot on this channel, but he's created a very strong focal point with really just value and contrast. Now he could have rendered all of these monkeys out on uh, monkeys or apes. That's an orangutan over there, right? Uh, he could have rendered them all the same way. And it probably would have still looked cool because it's Eric Powell and it would look cool. But it, would have a, it wouldn't be as strong of a focal point. What he's done is he's really just focused the most contrast right there in the center on the main, uh, this ape right here in the front. Again, very easily, he's most con this most contrast on the entire page, you know, by a long shot. The darkest darks, the whitest whites are all right there in that little circle for the most part. That's the value in contrast. And... What was the other thing I want to talk about here? Oh, the, the warm, cool color dynamics going on here are pretty interesting. So if you consider, you know, this is a fairly monochromatic painting for the most part. The hues are almost all this blue color, and there's just a little bit of this uh, brown. Uh, and it's, it's very, very dark. It's very desaturated, but it still appears to be pretty warm on this piece. Uh, the reason for that is the cooler your overall palette is, the less warm your warm has to be <laughs> to read as warm, if that makes sense. Uh, so, for example, if, if he had pumped up the saturation on this color just a little bit, uh, I'm just going to slide over just a little bit, um, you can see that it doesn't really fit what's happening. Like, it's just it barely needs to be to have any amount of warmth to it in this piece to still read as a warm color because of all the cool stuff going on around it. So I hope that makes sense. To, to kind of prove this point, I'm going to take that same color. Uh, so like this is a kind of a, like I said, a really desaturated, uh, kind of a dark, dark red, which kind of reads as, as brown and definitely reads as warm in this piece. So if I take that same color and go to this, little splotch of color that I've created here and put that on here it doesn't really look warm anymore um, it, it looks cool relative to everything else on in the in the in the uh, piece here 
uh, because everything else is so warm and the entire canvas is warm but because there's there's so much red and there's so much warmth in the piece that same color because it's so desaturated becomes cooler uh, which is a very you know it's not a very intuitive thing it's something you kind of have to 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 figure out in your, in your pieces but uh, so what's red in one page is not always red on another <laughs> and or what's in this case what's brown in one doesn't appear to be brown in this one so um, it's a uh, it's a neat little uh, bit of color theory that it kind of popped on that to me so anyway this has been a quick video I thought this was such an amazing piece I thought you guys would enjoy a piece on it so uh, if you enjoyed it, the video today uh, subscribe to the channel be sure you like it and uh, and check the description for links to my coloring course and uh, other many other resources that I've got down there so uh, anyway again thank you for watching I will see you guys in the next one take care